mentation and rational inquiry. But Surah Al-Kahf of the Quran introduces us to he who is the answer to Dajjal, namely Khidr alayhi salam. And Khidr alayhi salam sees with two eyes, <laughs> while Dajjal sees with one. So Khidr alayhi salam is the supreme guide for us, given in Surah al kaf of Islamic spirituality. Because Allah says about him, وَعَلَّمْنَاهُ مِنْ لَدُنَّ عِلْمَ بَعْدَ أُغْزِ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَعَلَّمْنَاهُ مِنْ لَدُنَّ عِلْمَ Not only does he have knowledge which comes from this world, but also he has knowledge which he receives internally. And so he is the answer to Dajjal. How important is it that we follow the footsteps of Khidr alayhi salam to protect ourselves from Dajjal, one-eyed Dajjal. How important it is therefore that we pursue Islamic spirituality. The Prophet said sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam and you've heard it so many times that Dajjal comes with two things a river and the fire but his river is a fire and his fire is the cool waters of a river whosoever falls in his river will have his load of sins increased and whosoever falls in his fire would have his load of sins decreased in, implying that in Akhirul Zaman when you see the feminist revolution you know this is Dajjal because did he not say Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam The link between Dajjal and the feminist revolution Did he not say That the last people To come out to Dajjal To follow him Would be women Yes And a man would have to return to his home And tie down Meaning coercively restrain his wife, his sister, his daughter, to protect them from the fitna of Dajjal. So when you see the feminist revolution and its accompanying sexual revolution, people engaging in sexual intercourse in public. In my country, in Trinidad, and there are those from Trinidad who will be listening to the lecture, we have something called carnival two days when shaitan takes control otherwise he's always in control but these two days he's expressly overtly in control and uh, people masquerade and they go out on the streets and they dance and uh, in, in Trinidad they are simulating sexual intercourse on the streets they used to be having on minimum amount of clothing minimum amount of clothing but now they have something new they use something called body paint to pretend that you have on clothing when in fact you're naked so when you see that sexual revolution if you still do not recognize that Dajjal is around and he's the mastermind then you are living in dreamland <laughs> you better wake up so in the age of Dajjal when the river will be a fire and the fire will be the cool waters of a river the implication would be that things would not be what they appear to be 
appearance and reality would be opposite to each other. And if you see with only one eye, external sight, you would be deceived. And the only time you'll be able to penetrate the reality of things, as for example, I have it here, I have it right here, as for example, this piece of bogus, fraudulent, and <coughs> utterly haram paper, which masquerades as money. I can use this language because I know my subject. I'm not talking out of my hat. This piece of bogus and fraudulent and utterly haram paper which masquerades as money. If you see with only one eye, you would believe that this is halal. What's wrong with this monetary system? You can't see. You just like cattle. But when you see with two eyes, and when like Khidr alayhi salam in Surah Al-Kahf, you are located at Majma'ul Bahrain. Remember the term? In Surah Al-Kahf, Musa alayhi salam says, I am the most learned of all men, and did not mention Allah as the most learned. And Allah said to him, no, you are not. There's one more learned than you. And he says, I want to meet him. And Surah Al-Kahf tells us that you will meet him at Majma'ul Bahrain. At the place where the two oceans meet. If you follow the Salafi methodology, then you better buy a ticket to Cape Town. And drive up the Table Mountains. And they show you a place where the two oceans meet out there on the southern tip of Africa. And then you can start searching out there for the most learned of all men. But I think you've got a long, long, long search ahead of you. If you follow our methodology, then this is religious symbolism. And we interpret it to be two oceans of knowledge. An ocean of knowledge externally acquired and an ocean of knowledge internally received. And when these two oceans of knowledge are harmoniously integrated with each other, then you have the most learned of all men. You have a khidr alayhi salam. And only that road will give you the capacity to penetrate the reality of things and not be deceived as we have been deceived, all of us, with this bogus and fraudulent and utterly haram paper currencies. And when we try to bring back that money which is in the Quran and that money which is in the Sunnah and that money which will be used when Imam al-Mahdi emerges and that money which will be used when Nabi Isa alayhi salam returns namely dinar and dirham gold and silver we can't get support no we get support from university students but we're still waiting for support from the muftis of Islam we're still waiting from support for support from the ulama it's been 20, 30 years now that this voice has been like a voice crying in the wilderness and we are no closer today to restoring that money which we used to have before we were attacked by Dajjal and that money was removed 
and replace with this bogus and fraudulent money. So if we are to penetrate the reality of things, this is how important the subject is of Islamic spirituality or uh, Basira. I regret that I had to spend so much 